Welcome to another video from the Ultimate GED Math course. In this video, we will be looking at the order of operations. I'm sure I don't have to say this is an important topic because we already know that. Please watch the entire video, especially the last question. Before we look at our questions, let's quickly run through the order of operations. In math, the order of operations are parentheses. You will perform any operation in parentheses first. Exponents. This includes roots, which we will learn in later lessons. Multiplication and division from left to right. This means that if you have, let's say, 4 times 3 divided by 2, you'll do the multiplication first and division second. But if you have 4 divided by 3 times 2, you'll do the division first and the multiplication second. I know a lot of students are stuck on PEMDAS, so they assume multiplication operations are always done before division operations. But that's not the case. Multiplication and division are on the same level. You work it out from left to right. Then finally, addition and subtraction also from left to right. It's also on the same level. Let's take our questions. Question 15. We are supposed to calculate this without using a calculator. Four parentheses, seven minus two divided by two equals. In math, if you see a number attached to another value in parentheses, it means it's multiplying. So, 2 parentheses 4 is the same as 2 times 4. Let's bring the order of operation. Looking at this question, we will perform the operation in parentheses first. So we have 7 minus 2, which is 5. Now, we have 4 times 5 divided by 2. Since there is no exponent, we can work on the multiplication and division. Remember, we have to do it from left to right. So we have 4 times 5, which is 20, then divided by 2. 20 divided by 2 is 10. Mastering the order of operation just requires practice. Let's look at more questions. Question 16. We are supposed to calculate this without using a calculator. Parentheses 2 plus 5 squared plus parentheses 3 plus 7 times 2 equals. You can pause and try it. Let's bring the order of operations. Here, we have two parentheses. We have to do both of them first, or you can also do one first and then the other next. I'll work on both. For this one, we have 2 plus 5, which is 7. We have 7 exponent 2 plus we do 3 plus 7 to get 10, then times 2. From the order of operations, we have to do the exponent next. So we have 7 squared, which is 49. We have 49 plus 10 times 2. Next, we have to do the multiplication or division. We have multiplication, so we will do 10 times 2 to get 20. So finally, we have 49 plus 20. This will give us 69. Question 17. We are supposed to calculate this without using a calculator. Parentheses. 28 minus 5, parentheses, 3 plus 2, exponent 2 minus 5, equals. Let's bring our order of operations. Again, we will perform the operation within the parentheses first. We notice that there's parentheses within parentheses. In this case, we will perform the inner one first. So we have 3 plus 2 to get 5. We now have parentheses 28 minus 5 times 5 
exponent 2 minus 5. Using the order of operation, we have to perform the operation in parentheses. We'll notice that the operation in parentheses also has multiple operations. That's subtraction and multiplication. We will use the order of operation to work that out. We know we have to do multiplication before subtraction. So we have 5 times 5, which is 25. Then we have 28 minus 25, which is 3. Now, all these have been simplified to 3. We now have 3 exponent 2 minus 5. From the order of operations, we will do the exponent next. 3 exponent 2 is 9. We have 9 minus 5. Finally, we'll do the subtraction. 9 minus 5 is 4, so we have 4 as our final answer. Question 18. We are supposed to calculate this without using a calculator. 30 over 2 parentheses 3 plus 5 minus 6 equals. I want you to try this. We haven't exactly done this. In order to get this right, you have to apply what I call implied parentheses. Let me give you a clue on how to solve it. When you have an operation or multiple operations in the numerator or denominator, you'll have to work on it like it actually has parentheses, although it is not written. So if you have 3 times 8 over 2 plus 1 plus 5, this will be worked out as if it has parentheses. So from the order of operation, we do parentheses first. We have 3 times 8, which is 24. Again, we work on the parentheses 2 plus 1 plus 5, which is 8. Now, we have 24 divided by 8, which is simply 3. So for this question, you'll put parentheses here. This should help you solve this question. You can also check ultimateged.com for the solution and more using the link below. We will end this video here. In the next video, we'll be looking at least common multiples and greatest common factor. These are two topics you'll need in order to be good with fractions and factorization. Have a great day. See you in the next video.